Mesa TV presents in three, two, one. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, we're learning about the annual Earth Fair. The 11th annual Earth Fair will be coming up the last weekend in April. Tell us all about it. My special guest from the St. Clair County Health Department is environmental educator Sherry Faust. And, and Sherry, being it's the 11th year, and I know we've, we've done this on Dateline Schools a number of times, keep saying it gets bigger and better every year. So what's new this year uh, for the Earth Fair? Um, um, every year we have new exhibitors and vendors that come out. So, so the face of Earth Fair looks different that way. So there's always something new to pick up or learn or educate yourself on. So we do have a, a lineup of all new vendors as well as some of our old time favorite exhibitors. And um, we also have these drop-in workshops that we started last year just quick informational, educational, hands-on workshops, and those are all new this year, too. So you can learn about Petoskey stones or come make some soap, um, and then there's activities for kids to do at the workshops, too. Okay, great. Are most of these vendors here local vendors, or do they come from around the state and around the region? Oh, no. all of I would say almost all of them are local. We really like to target St. Clair County businesses, the mm -hmm. small farms and energy companies that you might not hear about or see about throughout the year. We love to bring them together at Earth Fair. Um, for some of them, this is a major source of funding for their business. Mm -hmm. um, Earth Fair can be. Um, and a couple of them come from just surrounding counties. But really, this is a, an event that really supports local businesses. Mm -hmm. And I guess, too, it's kind of surprising that we'd have that many companies and, and vendors in the area that are really green conscious. It is. That's what's so exciting about Earth Fair, because you're like, wow, I didn't know you were in my backyard, or I didn't know that you were here. And, and so we can take advantage of all these great products and services that are right wow. in our uh, neighborhood. Mm -hmm. and, uh, also, you said you, know, you don't want to try to be like a trade show, but really for a lot of people, this is that, that eye-opening experience to see what's really out there and how they can take advantage of it. Yes, and, and their, their product or their service that you're coming to Earth Fair to learn about or take part in has to have um, an environmental message mm -hmm. to it. Now, do you go out and solicit these folks to come in, or does a lot of them say, hey, I've got this idea, this product, can I be included too? Uh, we do have a, a specific invitation list where we do um, invite people, but um, just word of mouth, Earth Fair is growing, so we have a lot of companies that contact us and ask us to participate, and then we screen them to make sure they fit in with our mission. We'll be back with more tomorrow. For Dateline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington.